Christ told you to shut up. Come on! Yeah! I know what you're thinking. Damn, he has a, he has to be old. Has to be Mr. Super Mario. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was, I was sitting in a bar. Not, not, not this bar. It's very shabby place. And this guy, this huge guy, he, he comes up to me and says, Hey man, you look like a fucking dwarf. <laughs> so I head for the destroying. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know, I know. I am what these days called physically impaired. You know, back in the good, good old days, I could have been called crippled, retarded, handicapped. But you know, it could, could have been worse, because I could have been called Millennial. <laughs> and nah, don't, 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 don't feel bad for me, though. Because uh, the disability allowance says, oh yeah, you know, so many times I've woken up, hungover, but with a whipping, but with, with a big smile on my face and thought, oh yeah, baby, I was drunk, don't tax me last night. <laughs> now, one of these nights when I was drunk on tax money in a bar, <laughs> this girl comes, comes up to me. She was drunk, she was 18. I hope. <laughs> and uh, she says to me, can I feel your hand? So I say, yeah, sure, sure, you're right up on it. So, no, so she starts feeling it, rubbing it, tugging on it. And after a while, I can't hold back, so I say, oh, pumpkin, that ain't my hand. <laughs> yeah. That was my first Me Too. <laughs> now, it, it's not, you know, it's not all bad, you know, being, being disabled. Because I have the internal jokes. You know, like I can walk up to a person in a wheelchair and says, Hey, how is it going for you? <laughs> Or I walk up to a blind guy and says, Hey, whoa, did you see that? <laughs> or I walk up to a person that is, says, that is illiterate and says, Hey, can you just read this, please? <laughs> and my, my, my personal favorite, you know, walk up to what seems to be like a perfectly normal, sane person, you know, who, has, who is probably Pro properly dressed, uh, looks fresh and all, and looks them deep in the eyes and says, Hey, you're not vegan, are you? <laughs> yeah, you know, I, I, I have this idea. You know the Pride Festival and the Pride Parade? What about if that was for various uh, handicaps? <laughs> like you had your uh, down persons, down syndrome persons, you had your <laughs> cerebral parsley persons, ADHD, vegans, millennials, and so on. <laughs> I mean, it, it, it would basically be, be the same thing, you know. Everyone would, would be happy, laughing, dancing. <laughs> but afterwards, instead of a very good ass fuck, <laughs> Everyone would get ice cream. <laughs> yeah. Now, one of these nights when I was drunk on tax money, 
this guy comes up to me, looks at me and says, Fuck, dude. Were you born in Chernobyl 86? <laughs> I looked at, at him, smiled and said, No, worse. I got blue 83. <laughs> Now, uh, can everybody here that, that was not born here in the so I'm giving a big round of applause. We have a out here. I mean, <laughs> growing up in Urdu, that, that, that wasn't so bad. Because when you're 15, you get a big box of condoms and a family tree. <laughs> To avoid inbreeding. <laughs> yeah. And on that subject, my mother, she would always tell me what a well-developed child I was from my disability. So I thought, yeah. Here comes the money, <laughs> because it will come my porn category. <laughs> I mean, there, there's, there's always someone, right? <laughs> and his name is always Sebastian. <laughs> now, when I was a little boy, I had this speech impairment. I couldn't say the letters W and O together. So, so I shouldn't say woman. Still taught that sometimes. And I'm drunk. <laughs> Hello. Uh, so I had to see one of these speech therapists, you know, the ones who have curly hair, cardigans, and their name was always my bit. <laughs> So my bait would look at me and said, say woman, Rasmus, woman. No Rasmus, say woman. Woman. No Rasmus, say woman. Oh bitch, please. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was funny. <laughs> uh, another funny thing about my, my childhood. The first time my uh, father took me to the betty shop to, to bet on horses, he said, Son, now begins your misery. <laughs> I looked at him and said, Dad, we live in Örebro. <laughs> For, for a couple of years, and uh, when I moved here, it's been a downfall ever since. I mean, back in Örebro, I was a five on a good day. <laughs> here in Stockholm, I'm a two. <laughs> on a Sunday, quarter to three, outside the cats. <laughs> so yeah, I'm living here now in Stockholm. I uh, I do cycle. I'm a vegetarian. I uh, love Greta. <laughs> I give money to beggars. In short, since I moved here, I become a political church cunt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, as you might have understood by now, yes, I do have a psychiatrist. I uh, asked her the other day for some anti antidepressants. She asked me why. I well, I say, well, you know, come see my stand up. <laughs> She did, <laughs> and now we are both undone. 
but I hope you will, will not be a big fan because you have been absolutely amazing. Thank you and good night! <laughs>